Hello there, welcome to another edition of our F Sharp tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at conditional expressions. Now, uh, conditional expressions are quite handy when we're controlling the logic flow uh, in an application. If you've used any other programming language, you might uh, recognize these more informally as if statements. And uh, what if statements do, depending on the value or condition of something, it will execute, execute uh, a piece of code or a different piece of code depending on what the logic is. So if we have a look at this uh, more clearly, um, if, we, if we ask the user a question, uh, let's say press 1 for hello or 2 for goodbye uh, console.read mm -hmm. uh, if we set this to the variable input So what we've got here, we're asking the user a question. Press 1 for hello or 2 for goodbye. Uh, and uh, we're setting this in the value input. And then we wish to do something with it. So at the moment, as it stands, the user can say 2 and nothing happens as of yet. So what we want to do is add an if statement to say if the user is pressing 1, then uh, display a hello message, uh, otherwise say goodbye, for example. So, um, uh, and well, conditional expression, uh, if statement, uh, starts with the keyword if. Then in this case, we want to see if the user is typing 1. So we've set the uh, one or two message the user is going to input into the value input so this will contain one or two if the user is uh, typing one or two and we can say if input equals one then console.write line hello otherwise goodbye so if we run this quickly fingers crossed it will compile press 1 for hello or 2 for goodbye let's type 1 and the uh, it says hello if we run it again let's press 2 for goodbye and it says goodbye so this is what conditional expressions do. Um, they uh, really say if something is equal to something, or it could even be extended further than that, if something equals 1 and something is this, then do this. Um, but for the base of this tutorial, let's look at a simple one. Um, so if it's equal to 1, uh, we use the keyword then in uh, F sharp. Uh, quite similar to Visual Basic if you've used it. Uh, console dot right line hello. Uh, otherwise, uh, we represent this with else. Uh, goodbye. Now you'll notice I've uh, indented these uh, slightly. Uh, we did cover this in the light tutorial briefly. Um, if we put these on the same sort of uh, cascading line as if and else, we may get some sort of error possible incorrect indentation uh, this token is off site so if we try and run the program uh, we're going to get an error so um, when we have the light syntax on we do re need to remember we need to indent these uh, we use four spaces um, but as I did show in the light tutorial you can uh, use a tab and uh, Visual Studio can interpret this as four spaces if you've uh, told it to. But um, if you install F sharp as a default install, this will put it in your code rules for you automatically. So.
So this is a basic uh, conditional expression. In the next tutorial, uh, we're going to look at further con uh, conditional expressions where we may get five options and we wish to uh, go through all five of them rather than just one, then another. So uh, I'm Sean Grizzly. Thank you for listening.